What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and I just finished up watching Joshua Franco versus Andrew Maloney 3, and this was a 12-rounder for the WBA Super Flyweight World Championship, and this fight was Saturday, August 14th, from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and this fight was broadcasted on ESPN, ESPN Plus, or on the ESPN app. And in this fight, Joshua Franco was able to get a unanimous decision victory over Andrew Maloney. I had the bout scored 116-112 to 112 in favor of Joshua Franco, and I did agree with all three judges who also scored the bout 116-112 to 112 in favor of Joshua Franco. And just to break down the fight, um, just one thing right before um, I just mentioned some honorable rounds in this fight and some big moments. Uh, I didn't really observe this fight as closely as I did like their second fight and their first fight because there were so many other fights going on. But I was taking a look at this fight every single round. And from what I saw, um, Joshua Franco did dictate the pace. And one thing with Andrew Maloney, he was not able to land his jab as well as he did in um, their second fight or even their first fight in the first couple rounds. Here he just looked flat-footed. He wasn't getting the rhythm that he was in the first fight and the second fight, and he just didn't look that good at all. I mean, this was by far his worst performance out of their three fights, even though in that first fight he got knocked down. Uh, here, he lost clearly. Um, I could even see it being 9-3. I mean, he really didn't look too great. The rounds that I gave him were really, really close rounds, but um, Joshua Franco did um, upset me. I mean, I thought that... Um, Andrew Maloney was going to win this fight comfortably on the scorecards. I know my scorecards in my prediction video were fairly close, but I thought it would be like a clear 7-5 or an 8-4. But he really um, won this fight clear. I mean, and he did prove that he's a true champion in this weight class. I know it's only a regular title, but still, it could possibly lead him to fighting um, some guys who hold the um, super belt or even some other... Um, world titles in that weight class, but this is a great victory for him. And I mean, one funny thing about um, Franco's resume is that like 20% of his fights were against only two men, and they were Oscar Negrete and Andrew Maloney. He has six fights with those guys combined. But um, yeah, as I said before, a great performance by him. So what is next for um, Joshua Franco? I would love to see him face another champion in the weight class. Um, but um, I, 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 all those guys are just way better than him. Way better than him. I mean, you got um, Estrada, you got Chocolatito. Yeah, although Chocolatito isn't a champion right now, well, he should have been, in my opinion. But um, I mean, all those guys in that weight class, even Jerwin and Cajas, I don't really see him beating those guys. But I see him giving them a decent fight. But, uh, yeah, he's just on a different level, those guys, uh, because they fought so many other guys. They have a lot of wins, and Franco only has um, just over, like, 21 fights, 20 fights, whatever it is. And, um, yeah, I can't really see him beating those guys, but I could see a fight with a top-tier guy happening next. Maybe the WBA interim champion at Super Flyweight, if not that's vacant. I'm not really too familiar with many of the other guys in that weight class, but still, I would love to, see, love to see him in a big fight next. And with that being said, what is next for Andrew Maloney? Losing here, um, second straight loss um, before the no contest. Uh, but uh, yeah, his last three fights were against Joshua Franco. He did not perform well in this fight. Uh, by far, as I mentioned before, the worst performance out of those three fights. And uh, I, I can't really see who he's going to face next, because in his last couple of fights, they have been in the United States. He's normally known for fighting in Australia, and I see him staying in the United States, fighting on a top-ranked card, and possibly against someone like in the top 15, top 20, so he gets a decent win, and he could possibly fight for a interim title or something like that next. So overall, um, Joshua Franco defeats Andrew Maloney by unanimous decision to, to successfully defend his WBA Super Flyweight World title. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.